everyone, my name is Bridget and welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to do a Western Hognose update. Now this video is pretty exciting because I'm going to give you guys an update on the Western Hognose that you already know about. And then we also have a new addition. We have a second Western Hognose that I'm going to introduce you guys to. The update that I have on the first Western Hognose is pretty short. There isn't a whole, whole lot to say. I just wanna give you guys an update, show you guys how big he is now and how he's done. And then we'll move on to the introduction of our newest Hognose. So I hope you guys enjoy. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into today's video. All right, everyone, so I am first joined with my Western Hognose Grindle. So he is not a happy camper whatsoever. He does not like this entire process. He's not one to love to be handled. So I definitely try and get him out as often as I can, but I do respect him. I know that he's not a big fan of this, so I don't force him to be handled ever. So as I'm talking to him, you're probably gonna see him strike and hiss, yes, just like I said but he's not gonna hurt me this is mainly just bluffing that they do they like to puff up really big and hiss and strike but they don't actually open their mouths to bite they can I mean it's not like he can't bite me but I just don't expect him to these snakes are definitely more talk than they are action so I'm not worried about him at all but if you see that just know that I'm not in any kind of danger, so it's not a big deal. So of course I've introduced Grindle before on my channel. If you happen to see the expo that I got him from, he's in that video, as well as my Meet All of My Snakes. And then because hog noses can be very picky eaters, I did an entire video um, talking about when he went off of food for a while and what I did to help him get back on food. So ever since then, he's grown a lot. This guy used to be such a tiny little dude and now he is full grown basically. So Grindle is a year old now. He turned a year in June and male western hognoses really stay super small. They really don't get much bigger than this. I do expect him to get a little bit bigger. Pretty much only by girth. He, I don't think he's going to get any longer than this. He's a super tiny snake. I get it but this is about as big as he's going to get. His morph type if you guys don't remember is an exanthic so that just removes a lot of those brown pigmentations and he is left with a lot of grays and crisp whites. <laughs> and even though he is like super duper grumpy, I still adore him so much. I still think that he is just an incredible little snake and I can't wait to see how he grows, if he's going to grow anymore. He's probably not ever going to change his love for handling and that is okay. I'll still spoil him and give him whatever he could possibly need in life. So yes, quick little update on my little Grindle guy here. He's adorable and I love him. And I know a lot of you guys love him as well. So he's a grouch, but he's pretty loved. <laughs> So you guys have gotten an update on Grindel now and I'm currently holding our second hog nose which I want to introduce you guys to. So this little girl right here is Janice. She is our second hog nose. She is extremely tiny, much smaller than Grindel as you saw. She's a female of course. Her morph type is just a normal western hog nose. And uh, if you guys can believe it, she's actually only about three weeks younger than Grindel is. I know it doesn't look like it. It's crazy. It even blows my mind how small she is, but that goes along with her story, which I'll tell now. First of all, if you know anything about female western hog noses, you will know just how large they get. So males will typically max out between 12 to 18 inches long, and females actually get anywhere between like two and a half to three and a half feet long. So the fact that she is so tiny compared to Grendel, it is a little bit alarming because she is a female. So she is supposed to be probably three times the size of him at this point. But the reason she is so small is because she just didn't have the greatest start in life and she went a long time without eating any food. So hog noses are also known for having very large appetites. Uh, they really like to eat their food. They don't typically refuse food very often. Now Grendel did refuse food for a long time as well, 
but he had a really good start in the beginning where he was getting meal after meal and was able to grow really well. But other than that, he's been a really good eater. Now, Janice here, in her previous home, she refused meals constantly. The previous owner was offering meals, you know, as often as she thought necessary, and Janice just was not having it. She did not want to take those meals. So because of that, there were only really a handful of meals that Janice actually got within her body. Pretty much any meal that she was able to get in her body was only allowing her to maintain her current weight. She wasn't ever really given the chance to grow larger. So because of all of that, she stayed really, really small and the previous owner was honest in saying that, you know, she was having such a hard time with this snake eating and not feeling as though she was really doing the right thing. She said, you know, she didn't really feel like she was connected to this snake anymore. She wasn't sure she was doing the right thing. And so she thought that she needed to find another home for her. Now the previous owner was actually a supporter of mine. She reached out to me asking for advice first on how to get her hog nose to eat. And I told her every trick that I knew and she tried a lot of different things, but it still wasn't really working for Janice. And so she told me she just felt it might be better if she found a new home for Janice, asked if I would be willing to take her on. I of course absolutely could not refuse. I said yes and I walked her through the shipping process and we got her to me. So this was already a few months ago. I actually got Janice in March of this year, 2019. And believe it or not, Janice was actually smaller than this when I got her. She was about half the size. And in this time, I have certainly learned a lot of things about this gal. She is 100% complete polar opposite of Grendel. <laughs> she doesn't mind the handling process. She doesn't hide away in her enclosure at all times. She's very active and she actually likes to eat from the tongs. Now if you have watched anything about Grendel, you know that he will refuse anything that I put in front of his face. He wants me to leave it somewhere in the enclosure for him to go and find later on his own. That is also the trick that Janice's previous owner would do because a lot of people who have issues with their hognoses not eating, a lot of the times the hognose just doesn't want to eat in front of anyone and they don't want to be handed the food. They want to just go and get it themselves. So she was leaving a rodent in the enclosure for Janice, but Janice still wasn't going after it. So when I got her home, I decided to just kind of try it out. I wanted to see what Janice would do and how she behaved. So I used tongs and I offered her a rodent and she latched on immediately. I think she hissed maybe one time and then that was it. She wanted that mouse. And ever since then, this child, she likes to eat from the tongs. She prefers that chase and that hunt. And I'm offering every five days for her versus every week just to try and get that growth on her. I'm not pushing the food to where she's going to be overweight as you can see she's not overweight. I am just offering her the same size meal and the same frequency that I would a baby hog nose her size and it seems to be working out well. So she's still tiny. She's still going to be tiny for a while but she has put on a lot of growth and I'm very proud of her for it. Now because she is a female who is a year old already and is so small and hasn't really had the opportunity to grow properly, I do kind of wonder if she's going to be stunted forever. I don't really know. I expect her to be on the smaller side no matter what and that's okay. It's just different. It's not really what you would expect from a female hognose. So we're just gonna see what she does and how she does as time goes by. I don't have any intentions on breeding her so I'm not worried if she is smaller. I want her to be at that you know proper weight anyways but I'm not going to push anything simply because I want her to breed. That's not what I'm about. Just not what my plans are. I just want Want her to be healthy. I'm so proud of her already and I'm so in love with her. She's the sweetest little thing. She has such a different temperament than Grendel does. She's just cute. I don't know. She was honestly kind of what I expected when I got Grendel. I expected him to kind of be this way a little bit more submissive. Now he is not and that's okay. He's gonna be his own little grouchy old man forever and that's fine. So then I just have this sweet little Janice to love on and spoil and all that good stuff. She deserves it. And you may also be wondering where on earth I came up with the name Janice. I actually did not name her. The previous owner named her Janice after Janice on Friends and I could not bear to change it after that point. I thought about changing it for a while. We were coming up with some sort of names that we would name her and then the more that I thought about it, I was 
was like, I can change it. Her name is Janice. She's definitely not as sassy as Janice on Friends. I think Grendel could probably take that name and <laughs> it would make more sense. She's super sweet. I'm proud of her. I am scared. She might be stunted, but I don't think that that would really negatively affect her life whatsoever. I think she's still going to be just fine. She's still going to do all she needs to do as a little snake and that's all that matters to me. So yeah, I didn't really intend on getting another hog nose. I thought about it just because I love them so much and then we just got the opportunity to get this gal and I could not be happier and I can't wait to watch her grow some more and see how beautiful she gets in the future. I'll definitely keep you guys updated especially if you want to follow us on social medias. There's a lot of posts that I can show you guys of her and how she's doing and I hope you guys love her as much as I do. Well, Alright guys, that's going to be it for my video today, giving you an update on my Western Hognose Brindle and introducing you guys to our new Western Hognose, Janice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out. I really appreciate it. Also hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload next and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!